What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World and right now we're going to be talking about another method that can get your mutt level up to 60 super fast really quickly. What I want to do right now though before we get into that video is show you guys an actual graphic from EA Sports when you log into Madden 24 Ultimate Team. There was a discrepancy with some of what you guys were saying with my video about the upgrades with the free overall players that you get as the uh, NFL playoffs continue to go on. It clearly states there on the bottom of the screen of the graphic that every week that team wins, you're gonna earn a one point overall boost. So many of you guys that were saying that no matter what happens, the players get a boost, that is actually not true. And um, I address it because I actually commented to the person that said it, and it was a few people that were saying it outside of the video that no matter what the players upgrade, that is not true. So pick the players that actually you know that you feel are going to get the upgrades for each week that they win you will get another uh, upgrade that's based on what they're saying there if it was something else that was said i have no knowledge of that i just go by what the actual graphics say and specifically what i was told would be happening and also what has happened in the past because this is not like it's the first time that they've done it it would make no sense for every card to get an upgrade point um, in the actual promo for these special cards. Why would EA give us so many free cards? So just theoretically speaking, it doesn't make any sense. So that's why, you know, I just want to clarify it. Most people were picking Clowney because the Ravens are favored to go at least to the Super Bowl. All right, so I just wanted to make sure everybody knew that before we jump into uh, leveling up super fast because that's a very, very important thing. Also, for you guys that don't know where the set is, as soon as you go to sets, it's the first pack on the left. Okay, the BND Playoffs Divisional Pack. If you wait until the end of this weekend, this pack is this pack expires on the 20th in two days. If you wait, it'll be even more to get the players that advance. So I would go ahead and get this done. I put a video out how to get it for free. So go ahead and check that out and uh, see where you are with it. Now, let's get over to the Mutt level, all right? Because we're pretty much almost halfway there and I've been getting a lot of questions, you know, from members and also uh, from newer viewers about the leveling up process, what's going on, what do I need to be doing? So I'm just gonna show you a quick, nice little way to go ahead and get about, I would say, what is it, 20, 12, 48,000 XP. You're just gonna jump into, you know, 48,000 XP, all right? So one of the things that I like to, uh, thoroughly go over when it comes to the season four mutt level is taking advantage of these week one week two uh, Objectives, right? Like why are people so focusing on this? This was generated because EA Sports with the mutt level They don't know how to calculate the right amount for everybody to get it by the end of the season So they started adding these to help everybody be able to get additional XP The problem is some of you guys are still overlooking it and wondering why certain things aren't happening so let's go ahead and break down week two really, really quickly, all right? Um, you know, obviously the daily and everything is done. I'm gonna show you real quick. So rush for a thousand yards with three playoff players in your lineup. I'm gonna go through that with the lineup. Kick 20 field goals. I'm gonna show you the challenge that I use with that. Score 125 points. That's organic in any challenge or anything that you play because it doesn't specifically say TDs or, um, you know, TDs and head-to-head -head or solo battles. You can see the way that they distinguish it. If it's something that's a competitive mode, um, objective it'll say head-to-head -head or solo battles if not and it just says what you should do you can do it anywhere okay one exception to the field goals if it's part of the competitive pass you have to do it in solo battles or head-to-head -head. that's the only exception and I'll show you that also in a second so let's break this down okay 12 24 36 48,000 XP all right so let's go ahead and break down how you're gonna level up super fast with it bam they want you to run for a thousand yards 20 field goals, 125 points, three punts. Now, the punts are gonna be done on the easiest level in solo battles, okay? Bro, that's what it is. You're gonna go to the easiest level of solo battles, let the computer score, they're gonna kick it off to you, you're gonna run it back for six. Everybody, bro, even, even your puppy dog can run back a kickoff uh, on easy. You know what I'm saying? Like the easiest level in solo battles. So let's go take a look at that real quickly. For those of you guys that are not familiar, you're gonna jump over into solo battles. It's gonna give you different levels of difficulty and uh, you're just gonna simply select rookie. You're gonna go into rookie. You're gonna just let, you know, let them score. They're gonna kick it off. Nobody tries to chase you. The players are extremely slow. They have no fatigue, like no stamina and you just go for six. That's ultimately where you're gonna do that. The rush yards you can do in the same game because getting a thousand yards and just running out of you know running out of bounds every time you get yards each time is very easy on rookie okay so the yards can be done there also uh without a problem now the field goals right the field goals are very very simplistic 
okay? You're gonna go over into challenges, and we've been doing this several times. That's why everybody loves when um, they actually do this. And remember, you can do this for any uh, challenge, right? But I like to just use uh, the Fred Taylor challenge because you're right there, right? So because you're on the 30, all of our kickers usually can make a field goal from 30. So you just go into the, uh, the challenge. And what happens is some of you guys don't really understand that it doesn't matter that you fail the challenge. Whatever you accumulated as far as stats, it saves. So if I come out, right? and I throw a touchdown, even though they want me to run the ball, I still get credit for the yards. Keep that in mind. So all you would do is come out here and just kick field goals, and you would do this 20 times. That's it. It, it doesn't matter. You know, it's gonna say you failed the challenge. Great, doesn't matter. You're good to go, okay? Um, you will not have issue. You just keep replaying the challenge and keep doing the field goal. It's gonna take you about three minutes to get 12,000 XP. It's really, really simple. All right, and again, don't worry about challenge failed. The field goal still register, and that will be done. You know, regardless that that that's it, it's over. As far as um, uh, like I said, I told you guys about the returning the punts and everything like that. Um, everything else is pretty much you know self-explanatory with it, and you know we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys in the lineup the cards that I use specifically for the playoff players. Remember, they give you a free one. All right, that Darrell Rivas card is a free card and he does not have to be in his uh, position as a cornerback to be able to get credit for it. So you don't have to worry about that. That is not something that you have to do. As long as you have the right chemistry on him, it'll register. So we're gonna go right back to it. We're gonna pull it up, um, you know, actually the milestones. All right, so I showed you about the rush yards. I would just do that, you know, obviously within the same um, competitive part where you're doing the solo battle. You know, like it's just it's just really easy to do it when you're returning the kicks. Just rush for a thousand yards. Very very simple in the same game. You should be done. All right. Score into 125. Like I said, that's organic. So all of the things that you're doing, that's going to be accumulated with everything else that's happening. All right. Kicking the 20 field goals. I just showed you. Now let's go take a look at the lineup itself and what we're using because a lot of you guys are like yo G. I don't really want to spend money on the actual players each week. Okay. I got a free Darrell Revis right here. When you go to upgrade by pressing the square button or the X button on um, your, uh, on the Xbox, pretty much Darrell Revis, you go down here and you just change it to playoffs to make sure that it registers. Obviously, after you're done with doing, um, you know, getting your XP, turn them into whatever team you want. Who cares? But you have to make them a playoff player. All right. I went into a game, did not have that equipped and it did not count. Notice that I have him at strong safety and it's an X through it, but he still registers when you go over here as one of the three. Okay. For my playoff players. All right. So the next one is Darius Slay, who I think is a must have on everybody's squad right now. I, I honestly do. Like the dude just balls for no reason. And then we have Isaiah McDuffie, just a cheap bum that you can get from doing a reroll or doing a simplistic set inside of the playoff uh, set section. So those are the three players that I use uh, for that instance to get all of that done. I do want to go ahead and make sure you guys understand, um, as far as the playoffs go, you can't really do much more because right now you'll see where we are until they drop the next, um, you know, the next part, part two of it. The house rules have been down for at least a week. So we are stuck waiting for EA to fix whatever they've done. So until they do that, we can't continue to advance to get more XP in this regard. But I will update you if you guys follow me on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, Facebook, Instagram. You know, obviously you're following me here with post notifications. I will notify you when EA Sports figures out what they've done. And we will get a lot more XP, which is going to get you even further, closer to uh, Mutt Level 60. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead, drop a like, share, subscribe, become a member to have more of your questions answered one-on-one. -on -one. And also while I'm live streaming, have your personal questions answered regarding Madden 24 Ultimate Team. Have a blessed day, and I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.